Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. And today I'll be talking about the new, the 2019 Hellboy reboot. So, <clears throat> um, I've read a lot of negative things online about it, and um, I could honestly care less because the critics could not be more wrong. Um, the movie um, has a different actor that plays for um, Hellboy. Um, Mila Jovovic is in it. Um, Ian McShane is in it. So, right from the get-go, whoever was behind the creation of this movie obviously had some great choices. <clears throat> I loved the style of it. I loved the brutalness of it. It had a perfect balance of humor, action, comedy, um, horror. Um, they did really awesome special effects were in this movie. They really went all out with it. It really was a blockbuster looking movie. <laughs> Um, and it definitely had its own certain style to it, and I really loved the story behind it, and, um, I think that all the actors did great, I think that it was very, um, artistically done, and, um, shot interestingly, especially during the fight scenes, it was shot interestingly, and, um, it was more video gamey and really cool when it comes to that kind of thing so that's why I, am. I really could care less about what critics have to say about movies before I watch them and um, really absorb and grasp and have my own opinion about it um, I don't agree with critics 90% of the time anyway. Um, I think that, you know, the way that they look at things and the way that I look at things are completely different. Or maybe we're just not getting the same effect or the same um, feeling or the same um, take on it that, you know, I, I, I mean, everyone's different, has their own opinion, but I truly, duly believe, duly, I truly do believe that, um, they should make more, and, um, so I've, I've never watched a Hellboy movie all the way through until this one, um, I've watched, like, long clips, or, like, segments of the other Hellboy movies, but I've never sat down and actually watched a Hellboy movie. Uh, what actually did it for me with this one was, first of all, whoever did the the trailer, the marketing did really good because I really thought that they really grasped you at the marketing, the, the trailer. Um, what really made me want to watch this particular Hellboy movie all the way through and actually buy it is Mila Jovovic, um, or Jovovic, whatever you want to call her, um, from the Resident Evil movies. She was also in Fifth Element. She was, um, also in Ultraviolet, um, and I absolutely am a huge fan of hers, and, um, when I saw her and she was the bad guy, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm game for this. And she portrayed a very Lilith kind of character, um, which I really, really love. And, um, I don't know, she wasn't straight up bad guy, but she, the way that she did things was evil, but she wasn't, I don't know, uh... I guess there's, um, you know, you have to take from 
from what you see with a grain of salt because um, I think I read somewhere that the um, behind the scenes stuff which I haven't seen yet because I actually bought the movie today and I watched it for the first time today so I haven't seen the bonus features but I heard that the one of the deleted scenes showed her as a complete good guy and that um, the ambush that happened at the beginning of the movie I'm not gonna give too much away or anything but that she was completely and utterly the victim which really changes the entire dynamic and the entire uh, viewers perspective of you know is she really bad um, no uh, if she was there at the beginning of the movie to really come to a peaceful agreement and she was ambushed you know how can you fault her for wanting revenge so I don't know it's just uh, you know your take on the characters and your perspective or whatever but um, I really really did love uh, the interesting complex um, story and chemistry of it all really and obviously Ian McShane was amazing um, the guy that played for Hellboy was, I thought he did perfectly fantastic. Um, I know uh, Ron Perlman is an amazing actor. I'm not going to take anything away from him. Um, I just haven't seen one of his movies of Hellboy all the way through. Uh, I'm going to change that, uh, especially after watching this one, because this one was really good. So I can only imagine the other ones being really good. <clears throat> Uh, but again, Mila Jovovic is the one that sold me on this particular one. That's why I watched this one first. And I really didn't need to watch the other ones to watch this one. Uh, because I did know that it was a reboot and it didn't have the same actor. So, um, it would have started from a beginning perspective kind of story anyway. Um, <clears throat> so you get the gist of what happened and what happens. Um, they do set it up as if they're going to do a sequel, and I really do that believe wholeheartedly that Lionsgate should invest in a sequel, um, because this one was really good. I mean, I, I would go to theaters and spend money on this one, or, you know, on the next one if they did this one the same. So, that's really all that I have to say about the new Hellboy movie. Um, I do highly recommend it, and... You should give the movie a chance. I don't think that it got the credit that it does deserve. Um, not taking anything... If you can separate yourself from the Ron Perlman movies, which really is completely unfair to the new movie because how many times has Batman or Superman been done with different actors and different characters and different story arcs and everything? How many times have you seen Superman as a different person, a different actor. Uh, James Bond is a different actor practically almost every movie that he steps out in. Same character, just different people that play for him. And I'm not saying anything bad about Ron Perlman, so we're just going to get that right across. He was excellent in Alien Resurrection, um, and good in a few other movies I've seen him in. So, no complaints on his acting skills. I'm sure that he does Hellboy magnificently um, in his own right in the, in the first two movies. So, um, this is strictly my review on the new Hellboy movie. Um, I will obviously watch the other ones, and I will along the line, you know, down the road, uh, do reviews on Theron Perlman. Um, Hellboys. But until then, um, make sure you let me know what you thought about it. If you have seen it, if you haven't, please give it a watch. It is worth it. Um, it is a good story. Um, I, it is brutal, uh, very bold at times, especially with some of the, I don't know, demonic things and everything. But anyway, um, Make sure you give my video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. 
Until next time, guys, have a great night.